Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, it's a new month. Well, it's the end of the month, but new stuff has come in, so let's just get straight to it and talk about my recent pickups. And I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. As you guys know, they have been a huge, massive support for the channel. You guys know I really dig their bar necklaces right here. So go ahead and click the link in the description. Check them out. But we'll talk about Rose Gold and Black at the end of the video. So we're going to start off with items that are irrelevant as of the filming of this video because they are associated with the colder months. You know, kind of like this beanie. I really shouldn't be wearing this right now. But it's nighttime. So anyways, those are my North Face pickups. You guys might be asking yourself, Johnny, why the f*** are you spending your money on fall clothes? Isn't it hot? Don't you live in a desert, Johnny? What's wrong with you? Shut up! Now that I got your attention, your boy really lucked out this time. So fortunately, my girl is a hero, literally. She's a frontline worker. She works at the hospital taking care of COVID patients. And so the North Face and other brands mentioned in this video are offering discounts for healthcare workers and frontline workers. As long as you show proof, and in this case, the North Face was offering 50% off. 50% percent off and this has already gone into effect for the rest of the year you get a discount code every single month so you bet your ass i'm gonna pick up some shell jackets so what happened was we got a total of four jackets i got three she got one and it only totaled out to 322 dollars for four jackets that is a steal for the north face starting off with jacket number one i don't have it on me right now because i went hiking with it the other day it's kind of gross but that is the packable travel jacket i talked about this jacket in my last tech wear video and you guys can watch that at the very end of this video but it's packable not your typical black black techwear motif color and of course it's waterproof and windproof and you can't really beat that. I also picked up this Navy City Breeze Rain Parka. So you already know I'm gonna be moving back to New York City as soon as an opportunity comes up and hopefully that's this year. It precipitates more in three months there than it does in a whole entire year in New Mexico. And the entire time I lived in New York, I only had one waterproof jacket and that was meant more for the springtime and not the winter time. I was dying, so that is where this comes in. It's really a big deal, I don't think you guys understand because you gotta walk everywhere and it's just a hassle if you don't have a raincoat or an umbrella. But this jacket is very sleek and slim fitting navy color to avoid everything black and it just has a lot of features to it that i'll break down in a later fall video but the last jacket is this black and olive one it's a little bit warmer nothing too crazy i really like the hint of volts yellow and it's a jacket that will complement a lot of my tech fits so yeah i really like these jackets i can't wait to wear them but right now it's hot and musty and gross and the last thing i want to wear is these heavy rain parkas but the travel jacket i'll wear whenever it rains or if i go hiking now moving on we have this monitor stand that's on my desk so i wanted to free up space a little bit on my desk setup i already shrinked my keyboard now it was time to get a monitor stand because not only does it add space because i can store stuff on top and underneath but it also comes with a wireless charger so prior to this monitor stand i had this wireless charger on the side of my desk and it would look really awkward and out of place the phone would face me and distract me whenever i got a notification but with this stand I put my phone down and it faces up and not towards me. Plus I get extra storage space and the stand matches my desk as well. Definitely everyone should get some sort of stand for their laptop or their monitor. It's going to save you some neck strain and it's going to free up some space on your desk and it's going to make your setup look more sleek and clean and in my opinion, that's going to equate to better work. So the next pickup is my most recent one and that is the Adidas Boop. Boosting it. I have a hard time saying that word. Anyways, these were a part of my second channel where I give my first impressions of these. And if you guys want to see that, the video and the channel will be linked in the description. Go ahead and subscribe. Support your boy. But back in the day, I'd always skate Nike Stefan Janowski's. And my favorites are just regular Vans. In my entire life, I've never tried an Adidas skateboarding sneaker. So I thought I'd give this a shot. And a side note, Skate 4 is happening. We did it, boys. After years of bombarding EA's Instagram with Skate 4, we commented this game into existence. Shout out to everyone who contributed. <laughs> Anyways, these are a cup sole sneaker and is made for more impact skating, which I don't really do, hence why I skate the Vans. I don't skate big sets, but nonetheless, I've never tried a cup sole sneaker, let alone an Adidas skateboarding sneaker. And I must say, I really dig these. Now next, we have the Timex Weekender. Guys, I caught the watch bug. <laughs> Last video I said I didn't catch the watch bug yet. I caught it that instant I said that. So because I caught the watch bug, I've been going down that rabbit hole of the watch industry. And I understand both sides. You know, the watch heads and the fashion watch controversy. You know, I totally get it. I've actually been sponsored by Daniel Wellington in the past before. I've been fully transparent. They didn't pay me anything. They just sent me and my girl a free watch. I was like, why not? You know, I was a smaller YouTuber. 
Why the hell not? But yeah, I can see why people get offended whenever they hear Daniel Wellington or movement. Now, I don't really want this to be that kind of video, guys. But hey, I don't discriminate because for a lot of people, fashion watches are what got people into watches in the first place. And I don't see how that's a bad thing. Are there things of better value? Of course. But that's a rant done, guys. Conclusion. I really dig this watch. I highly recommend this for anyone to be their first watch. It's incredibly cheap, way cheaper than a Daniel Wellington or a movement watch. It's literally a third of the price of most other fashion watches. And it honestly is made better. This is heavier. Anyways, guys, I really recommend this for anyone as their first watch. It was only like $40 or something like that. Next up, we have the Nike Lab ACG Fall Winter 18 Cargo Pants. That is a mouthful. But you guys have seen me talk about these pants plenty of times already in past recent pickups and past videos. Now this isn't sponsored, but I only picked these up because Shop Tagger actually notified me because I tagged them when they were out of stock and then they just let me know that they were in stock again. Because for me, I needed an extra small in these pants because these pants were made to be extra baggy. Even the extra smalls already have a little bit of bagginess to it and my olive ones are a size small and still that's a little bit too big for me. But yeah, these pants are my favorite pants in the wardrobe, hands down. Incredibly versatile, you can wear with more tech fits or more workwear, utilitarian type of fits and like I said I recommend sizing two sizes down if you guys have the same body type as me you know I'm 5'7 I weigh 156 pounds overall I'd say this is a good stepping stone into like more higher end tech wear stuff and yeah these are just my favorite pants they have a really unique look and that's why I really dig them and now we got the lighting so I picked up this Edison lamp as well as these lights over here just so I can up the quality of the videos and for myself I've always appreciated that industrial modern farmhouse look you know Edison light bulbs metal piping rustic wood. That's why I have this clothing rack as well. You know, it's got that metal piping and very industrial looking wood. So that is why I picked these lights up. Those are eventually going to be for hanging my Polaroid shots with my family. And they're definitely going to be used for product shots and just overall better lighting for the videos. If you guys make videos, don't sleep on lighting guys. Audio is probably the most important part first. Then you got to work on the lighting and then the camera is what matters next. Next of my recent pickups are the Dickies 874 trousers. So with these pants, I have them in olive, navy, and black. The black ones, I fell in them when skating, so they're kind of dirty right now. These pants are awesome. These are one of the cheapest pants out there. Like probably the cheapest pants I think everyone should get. They're only 22 to 25 dollars. That's a steal. I can't really show you guys the quality of these but they really feel like they should be worth like 50, 60 dollars because these pants are just made for working and you know Workwear is kind of trendy right now. It has been trending since like 2019, but it's actually quite affordable even if you buy new. These pants are definitely top five in my wardrobe as one of my favorites and most worn. If you guys skate, these are definitely a staple to your skater wear wardrobe. They're obviously made for working so they have better durability. Breathability is eh, it's okay, but that's why I like to cuff my pants. That way you get some airflow going through. For me, I just find cuff pants to really add a you know, those stylish points and add a different look to your fits, especially these pants because they have this white threading whenever you cuff it, it just adds a nice look to the fit. Otherwise, whenever I'm not cuffing it, I just like to let the pants actually engulf the shoe, you know, just lay over it. I used to be all about, you know, skinny jeans and Jordan ones, but recently I've been really digging pants just you know, taking up the shoe a little bit and just having a little bit of the shoe pop out because before I thought it was whack because I didn't know any better. And then whenever I tried it out, I really liked it. And that's the whole thing about fashion, guys. Just try things out and see if you like it. Get out of your comfort zone. And that's how you mature and refine your style. But yeah, I rock these with my Jordan 1s. I actually really like them with the Nike Elements and also, you know, skate shoes, you know, the Adidas or the Vans. They look dope. And last but not least, I actually have three more sneaker pickups. So like I mentioned earlier, the North Face was having discount codes for healthcare workers and frontline workers and in general vans i think they were offering 30 or 40 percent off so i decided to capitalize on that because vans are already pretty cheap in general first up i picked up these vans checkerboard slip-ons as you guys can see i have barely worn these so i've had these vans checkered authentics when you know when they were trending in 2017 when the jerry boy look was massive but i actually really dig these shoes but i don't really wear them that much anymore so they look pretty similar one's just a slip-on one's the authentics and that's just the best part of vans guys they look dope super beats and you know worn in or they look dope clean and crisp but yeah guys these are the vans pro skate model like i said plenty of times in these videos man don't get the regular lifestyle models the regular lifestyle models 
they are five dollars cheaper yeah but you get less durability especially if you skate in them you're gonna tear your shoes right away these actually can withstand more you know flicks and all that on your skateboard and they won't tear as fast as the lifestyle ones and they have a better insole so they're gonna be more comfortable and have better impact resistance and like i said guys it's only five dollars more there's no reason you should be buying the regular lifestyle model but that's totally up to you guys next up we have the pro skate model of the vance old schools this is just the cream colorway these were looking really clean and crisp they still kind of do but i just skated them for the video the regular vance old schools classic but i thought i'd like to try different types of colorways and i thought this cream and white sole one was just perfect for the summertime and for the fit i wore in this video it really changed the vibe of the fits you know i, I threw on the adidas boots knits and, and it looked decent but throwing these on gave the fit a really chill type of vibe and yeah i definitely recommend switching it up picking up a different colorway than the regular vans old schools i really like this pair of old schools i'm probably gonna pick up this colorway more than the normal og colorway and yeah i know vans old schools the typical skater wear poser type of sneaker guys i've been skating vans since 2007. I know there's other brands out there. Fallen, Lakai, those are also dope brands. I've always just liked the board feel, the vulcanized sole of the Vans old schools. I feel like I have better flicks with these. The Adidas Boosinets, I talked about it in my vlog channel. They were okay. I felt like my flip tricks were really good. Not the heel flip tricks. I feel like those were worse. But these, they just have the best flicking. And I can do heel flips in these easily. I have a lot of nostalgia and memories with Vans old schools. And the last pair of sneakers I picked up from Vans, it's downstairs, I'm too lazy to pick it up, but it's the Vans slip-ons just in the all black colorway. Now they didn't have the pro skate model of that colorway, so I picked up the comfy cush version, which is totally cool. I just can't skate it because it's still gonna tear very easily. I picked these up because I've seen a lot of tech wear fits with the Vans slip-ons, and specifically this colorway, it's pretty neutral and it's gonna go well with a lot of tech fits. So big shout out to my girl for getting me that discount. Your boy really looked out with, you know, with the Vans in the North, Face. So those were all my recent pickups. I'll leave links in the description if you guys are interested. But just to be transparent, there will be affiliate links and there's also going to be the regular link and you guys can choose if you guys want to support me or not. Light just went out, but let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. So as you guys know, Rose Gold and Black has been supporting your boy since 2017, 2018. I feel like for most guys, they need to ease their way into accessories. It's kind of hard to just start throwing on a bunch of bracelets, rings, and necklaces and all that right away. So you guys are gonna wanna start off with more minimalistic jewelry, hence why I recommend their bar necklaces. I really dig these because of how sleek and simple they are. They can be worn with almost every fit, almost any aesthetic. And if I take this off, you guys can see a clear difference on how it looks and then I throw it back on. It really adds that nice bit of detail to the fits, hence why I'm always wearing some sort of accessory. So if you guys are interested, click the link in the description, check out Rose Gold and Black. It's going to take you guys to my specific landing page where a ton of items are going to be discounted. Don't go to the main page, you know, it's gonna be full price. But if you guys use my link, you guys are gonna save some money. And again, full transparency, I don't make any commissions off your guys' purchases. And also with everything going on, really with all the items, throughout this video only pick them up if you have the funds to do it so you actually like the item and not just to support me because you guys just watching the video is already enough support and i just really appreciate you guys but yeah if you guys are interested you guys have the funds and you guys really like the items click the link in the description check them out and thank you rose gold and black for sponsoring this video all right y'all if you guys found this video helpful or informative hit that like button turn that like button blue for the youtube algorithm you guys can follow me on instagram at fly with johnny ty and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already check out my second channel it's going to be more of a vlog channel you'll see me skate on there and until then stay fly stay animosity free check out rose gold black i'm out peace